So this is going to be a unpopular opinion, but uh, I have to go against the grain of what most people online are saying about this incident and say no. Uh, the cops were absolutely correct in dragging the man off the bus. So this is in regards to that viral thingy going on where Philadelphia police had drug a man off a mask. Uh, off a mask. Wow, yeah, he was sitting on a mask and police drug him off it was sitting on a bus without a mask, okay? Now, everybody is saying, no, you can't take him off. There's no policy. There was no policy. Uh, false. Okay, so this incident, uh, we all know what happened, okay, to a point. One thing that people are not highlighting is that the gentleman had entered the bus without a mask. The, office, the bus driver had asked him to leave the bus several times. The man got unruly and refused to leave the bus. He was in violation of policy, by the way. Everybody is saying that there was no policy, but there was. The incident in question happened on April 10th. Okay? April 10th. On April 7th, SEPTA, the Southeast Pennsylvania Transit Authority, had issued this guidelines that all passengers should wear a mask. On April 9th, it became an actual policy, a full day before. So this is the correct headline here, this one. But a lot of people were defending him, but he did refuse to leave the bus when instructed that he was in violation of policy and that he needed to leave the bus for the safety of himself and the other passengers. He got unruly and belligerent, and that's when the officers were called, after he was asked several times to leave the bus. So in my opinion, yes, the officers were correct in removing him from the bus. I just see everybody framing this in one direction, and I have to go against the grain on this and say no. The way I see it and the evidence that I have is SEPTA had released on their uh, website, and they did commercials, uh, and they did a public service announcement saying that they were going to ask their writers to wear masks, and then that it had become policy on the 9th. Uh, on, on the 10th, I'm sorry. Uh, no, on the 9th, yes, sorry. Uh, the 7th is when it, and then two days, 9th, yes. Uh, and this incident happened on the 10th, a full day afterwards. He was asked and informed when he got on the bus. So, yeah, he wasn't charged. Uh, he wasn't cited or anything. He was just removed from the bus. So, but that's my opinion on it. And uh, you feel free to disagree. You feel free to do whatever you wish. Your opinion matters, no matter what your opinion is. Nothing wrong with hearing dissenting opinions. That's how we you know, get things better, and that's how we get to the truth, is we hear dissenting opinions, and perhaps a dissenting opinion will change our mind on something, and we say, aha, you might be right on this one, man, and I think the way you think. But either way, comment. Let me know what you think. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.